not be alarmed by the smell. It's all part of the experience. There is plenty of sidewalk. Would you open your fucking eyes? Do the chest of night. Uh, let's go, Cupcake! You want bitches that will get naked and smoke weed? Whoa! You're a total moron! Massive! You know I didn't mean it! What? Yep, looks good. Gracias. See ya! Hey there, ready for some inky pain? I love this town. Hey! Look, don't call this number again, okay? Maybe a naked lady tattoo today? No refunds. You took that well. Right on, enjoy that. You know, you're not much of a bleeder. That's art right there. Cover up crappy tattoos, too. I'm using this money for drugs. Your body is a canvas. Pick some art. Hope you like that. I am feeling sick. That's why I made that face. Tell your friends where you got that. That's a good one. I told Come you see to call us me again. Later. That's a master. I don't got time. I'm good. Show. Yep, looks good. You're getting on my nerves. Thanks. I need the cash. Later. Okay, buddy, there you go. Wonderful. A veritable treasure trove. 
Just ignore us. Yes, don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. Okay. You're not Jock Cranley, are you? Actor and artist? I love your work. Oh, stunt double? Oh, our favorite show. Mrs. Thornhill, snap! Watch the birdie. Oh, pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yes, yes, like you did on that on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, all that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, maybe something oh. like this. Oh. Or like oh. that. Huh? You like that? That's enough, huh? now, dear. You oh. like that? Oh. 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 Please. Oh, hey. Oh. Thank mm. you. Wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, We're not. not I'm, uh, I'm not Jock. Uh, what's his name? Cranley, big star in the eighties. We well, love celebs. That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yes. Yeah. Before we met you, we were trying to break in to Bruce Spade's house and steal his rubbish. The things these stars throw away. They're not like you or me. <laughs> Mrs. Thornhill has the most unbelievable collection of celebrity underwear and bathroom products. Things they've actually used themselves. You guys have a great vacation, all right? I gotta go. We could do with some help. All this climbing over walls and rooting through bins. It's such a business. Nigel's got an arthritic knee. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you need? Just a few Vinewood souvenirs for my mm. museum. No, no, look, look, look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have famous people living in them and some that are just hanging about. Bring us some things. I'd be very thankful indeed. Americans are the most wonderful people in the world, aren't they? The best! <laughs> Such fun! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, a pair of fruitcakes. Believe it or not, I need a cab. I'm sending one out right now. Glad to hear it. to the D to the S. Holla at me. So where do you want to go? Grape seed. I'll get you there fast, buddy. Trevor, you called? No shit! What's happening? My ex-wife called me again. Man, there is nothing worse in this world than an ex-wife. Perpetual reminder of life's mistakes. A dreadful mistake. She's thinking of suing me again. For what? You live in a trailer. She heard my radio show. If she heard your radio show, she should pity you, not sue you. <laughs> That's nice, Trevor. No, Ron. It's not. It's unkind, but it's also true. Your ex-wife was a bitch! I did you the favor of a lifetime when I scared her off. You did. You really did. If after 12 years of happy marriage, one simple threat of dismemberment was enough to send her running, well, I don't know. And she was having an affair. We proved that. You're right, Trevor. She wasn't committed enough. Exactly, Ron! Now get back to fucking work, all right? What are you yabbing at me for? Sometimes, when I'm driving late at night, I like to pretend the other cars are spaceships. Fucking fuck. This is a special.
spot, right? There you are, handsome. No mud. How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? About the same. Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. Even in this world full of scum and detritus, it's only right that we all bear our share. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Take this poor wretch. On the run, desperate, alone, about to learn the true meaning of suffering, all for a few thousand bucks. Think you can find him for me? Every man has his talents, Maud, and the rigorous administration of justice is, uh, it's one of mine. That's why I love you, Trevor. I'll send you his file. It's totally just a robbery! Freak. Hey, bud. What you do? Nothing. What you up to, Cletus? Uh, hunting. Hunting? Hunting what? Retirees? Nah, just stuff. Windows, antenna, tires, vermin. Ah, so that was you. Tis the season for it. I don't give a shit about no season. <laughs> oh, good, huh? Don't let the regulations get you down. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey. You want to come hunting with me? It'd be real neighborly of you. Hell. Why not? All right then, up here with you. I got just a thing. Let's raise some hell, neighbor. Oh, I'm in. I'll introduce you to one of my all-time favorite pastimes. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Okay, you see them three big satellite dishes? A decent shot, and they'll go down easier than a whore's drawers. You're a real pillar of the community. Yeah, that's it. Give him hell. Shoot another one. Not that dish. That's my sister's place. <laughs> no more reality TV for you, Mrs. Gilbert. Okay, one more for the road. Boom! 
Didn't I tell you this would be more fun than a barrel full of pussies? Ooh, you're a classy day, Cletus. No denying that. <laughs> now drive us up to that abandoned motel. I got an even better idea. So, what now? We gonna try our luck on something less stationary. Ooh, liberals? Nothing as slippery as that. You'll see. Ain't she a beauty? Drives like a dream. You've got way too much time on your hands. Nah, this is just a bit of foolery. I've been busier than hell with the real hunting. The money and wild organic meat these days, you wouldn't believe. Them hipsters will give you their parents' last dime for it. It's gotten so I can't even keep up with the demand no more. All this eat local, small batch, farm to table bullshit. You know, I could maybe use another pair of hands if I can get you up to snuff with that rifle. Here we are. I bet you never shut out the tires on a car before? Oh, you'd be surprised. Well, let's see what you got then. Ain't you gonna shoot anything, Cletus? Nah, I do this all the time, and I wanna see how you deal with a moving target. This is perfect right here. Pick a car and shoot a tire. Good, plain, old-fashioned fun. That's it, beauty. And again, Trevor. Don't be shy, tires don't feel no pain. Give me strength. Nice, go on one more, just for the hell of it. You're slower than molasses on a cold day. Too bad, Trevor. Right, let's change it up. Come on, follow me. Hey. Mm. What? Just two fellers killing time in small town America. Don't get much better than this, does it? The two most popular guys in town. Am I glad I ran into you? Ain't nowhere near this fun being antisocial on your own. Whatever cranks your tractor, I say. What's up next on the hillbilly anarchist agenda? Ever shot anything with a face? Actually, let me ask it again. Ever shot anything with a face on four legs? Now, Cletus, it's important you realize I'm a man plagued by vicious rumors. Fine. Let's head for the roof. I seen some coyotes hanging around down by the road. Reckon it would be real neighborly of us to get rid of a couple. And we are nothing if not neighborly. We'll get a better shot from up here. Seem. Looks like we got two packs of coyotes down there. Take a few of them out and the rest should scatter. Ha! Sing to me now, song dog! And another! Dropped it like a bad habit. I think you got one more in you, Trevor. What? That should do it. Nicely done. I reckon you should tag along next time I go hunting out at Polito Bay. I'll show you how to bag an elk. Eh, why not? All right, gotta go. I'll send you a text when I'm about. I'll have to keep an eye out for you.
Why do you exist? Ah, Dios mío! You are utterly ridiculous. What's your problem, A shot, asshole! I won't let you treat me like a terrorist!
want to carpool with me? You're coming with me, sunshine! No, no! Stay away from me! I surrender! I surrender! Don't hurt me! Correct decision! Come on! Road trip! Get in! Come on, pal, don't do this. Just just let me turn myself in, please. No can do. I'm a dedicated servant of justice, my friend. Count yourself lucky I haven't trust you in duct tape and thrown you in the trunk. Although now I've said it out loud, I kind of like the idea. Please, they're saying I could get five years. Five years! Whoa, whoa, hang on, remind me. What did you do again? You're giving off a sex criminal vibe. What? No! They're just trying to charge me with check fraud, money laundering, workers' compensation fraud. It's crazy. It was just a few payroll taxes, for Christ's sake. Okay, I'm listening now. You had me at money laundering. What's your play? It isn't really a play. You create a shell company, take out a minimal workers' comp insurance policy, then charge subcontractors a fee to use that company as a dummy paper trail for their undocumented workers. I'm just a middleman, really. Whoa, 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 whoa! I take it all back. You are officially the most boring criminal alive. Nah, jail's the place for you for sure. For the learning experience alone. Don't be shy. What were you doing skulking around that quarry like a common toad anyway? You actually wouldn't find a toad in a quarry. It's too dry. Whoa! Are you getting smart with me, admin criminal? No, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just really nervous. Question my questions again. I'll slate your throat and let you gurgle the answer. Am I making myself clear? Uh, one of the mining contractors I worked with said I could lie low there, okay? I've been sleeping in a bulldozer. You know, you're really not what I pictured. I've seen those bounty hunter shows on TV. I was expecting some washed up 80s pro wrestler type, but you're much, much scarier. Well, I was expecting someone much, much, much less of a pussy. I have to say, for my first bail jumper, you're a bit of a disappointment. I was hoping serial killer, maybe international drug czar, but no. <laughs> I get the payroll bandit. Pathetic. What you got for me? How you been, Trevor? Boy, am I glad to see you. Look what you brought me. Your relentless sunny disposition, it always puts a pep in my step. I aim to please. Well, witty banter completed, I'll give you my thanks. And I'll send you another file for your inspection. Stand up, fool! Yo, I swear, motherfucker, what? I'm gonna bust your shit! Let that King Kong nigga go! Yeah, I swear, dumb bitch, dumb! Hey, chill out, nigga! Nah, fuck that, I need that old disrespectful ass bitch ass niggas! Hey, man, roll off while I get on y'all ass myself! Okay, let's go! Hell, D. F. C.
Another big ass mess on my property? Chop, I gotta train you to sit on the neighbor's yard. Lester, uh, what's up? The jewels have been fenced, and Michael's angry Mexican friend has been compensated for the house, so I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store job. Good work. All right, cool, man. Good working with you. Contract! Two, three, four! Release! Release! Ooh. 